My name's Ty Waller. I'm a coach with the Oakland A's. And just want to share with you a, a, a little bit about my life. My, my philosophy on life before I became a Christian was basically try to be a good person, try to treat others like you like to be treated. And in your pursuit, try to do the best you can in life. So I, I, I probably had my, my uh, belief system based on tradition and the people that were in my life. That, uh, you know, there was times where I probably was so selfish trying to pursue those goals that I overlooked things or I might have tried shortcuts along the way and, and maybe affected the relationship with an individual or even myself knowing that I, I took a shortcut that wasn't the right way of going about things. And I discovered along the way there really are no shortcuts in life. I guess baseball had its hooks on me from the beginning when I was a youngster. And everything I did was to pursue that goal of becoming a major league player. And in that pursuit is where I actually met Christ. My, my mother bought me a Bible for my 25th birthday. And uh, getting into that Bible and starting to read that Bible started opening up my my, I guess, uh, feelings towards who God was. And, and I found out a lot of things that I thought were true based upon the Word of God were not actually alive and active in my life. And I decided that day that I was going to learn what God's mandate said concerning my life. And that's why I was introduced to the living God. And I tell you, one one thing I struggled with for a long time was trying to clean up my mouth, my language. In this game of baseball, we have the filthiest mouths sometimes, and we say things out of that competitive drive that, that, that really takes you off course of really what you want to do. And I, I, I just one day had to surrender and ask God to show me how, because when, when people tell you when you tell people you're a Christian, they're always watching everything you do. And when you mess up or you fall short, they usually call you on it. I'm so glad that God has brought me through that. Now I can walk through this life throughout the adversities and know that my language is not going to hinder my walk because of what he's brought me through. But it was God and him only that was able to give me the strength to realize that I can communicate in a much different way and get the results that I want to have in life. You know, the Lord, the Lord introduced me to my wife in college. And I was, I was that young ball player trying to make it to the big leagues. And we were actually in a class together. And we used to just share and talk. And it was a couple years later when I came home, I actually ran across her sister uh, when I was shopping in town. And I asked her how um, my wife now, Cynthia, is, is doing. She said she's doing fine. I said, well, give her a number or give me her number, one of the two where I'd like to talk to her. So I, I called her and we, we actually dated for a little while, but I was still that ball player trying to find his way. So my life was still a little bit out of order. The Bible talks about not being unequally yoked. And I knew she was a believer and I was striving to be a believer. And I, I think that was the beginning of God's way of showing me this was my life partner and the two of us are going to come together and live for God and we establish a relationship and it's been the best thing that ever happened to me. And it's important that you know for yourself whether God is real. And God put his word out there so we can meet him. And the best thing that I, 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 I think I know now is he says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. He says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. The rightly dividing the word of truth is what's going to become alive in you. Because God truly is real. And he wants to have a relationship with you. But he's not going to force it upon you. And I am proof in my mind at least that when I met him before I knew him and, and, and after that the things that lined up after I got to know him they always would come to fruition in my life so I, I, I just hope 
that you would give him the effort, the attention, and become that diligent seeker so you can find the real living God. Hi, I'm Ty Waller and I play for him. Please join our team at playforhim.org.